You're listening to Gold Bar Career, your podcast for helping you sort things out. What is a black swan? It is one of the most impactful things, both negatively and positively, that can happen in the world of economics and finance. It is something that we all should be aware of, and we are actually living a major black swan event right now that will change the perspective of the world as we know it. Before the discovery of Australia, we only knew of the existence of white swans. Upon discovering Australia, we stumble upon black swans, which we had no reason to believe they existed. In medieval times, people even used the expression black swans in the same way we now use the expression when pigs fly, used to say something that one thinks will never happen. The term black swan was coined by Nassim Talab, writer, finance professor, and former Wall Street trader where he spent 21 years. The word black swan was popularized after the crisis of 2008, shortly after Taleb published his book The Black Swan. The impact of the highly improbable focused on the extreme impact of rare and unpredictable events. It basically covers one single idea, our blindness with respect to randomness, particularly large deviations. Black Swan events are basically unpredictable and massively impactful in the world. They are retrospectively predictable, but not prospectively predictable. In other words, they seem to be predictable and obvious if we look at the past, but they seem impossible at the present moment. This is a kind of distortion of reality. Let's go through some major past Black Swan events. The Great Depression that took place during the 1930s was a severe worldwide economic depression beginning in the United States. Unemployment rose to record highs, foreign trade and production fall heavily, and the worldwide gross domestic product fell by an estimated 15% between 1929 and 1932. The dot-com bubble in 2000 is another example of a black swan event. It was the exciting era of the technological revolution and internet companies. However, it turned out to be a massive bubble of pure speculation, where investors put their money without looking at the business plans of the companies or analyzing their fundamental values. It became a massive bubble of pure speculation being guided by a hysteria that engulfed the market and soon burst. The Nasdaq index heavily weighted towards technology-related companies fell a whopping 78% from 2000 to 2002. However, it all started in the 2008 global financial crisis caused by the subprime mortgage loans in the United States. The problem started with the subprime or high-risk loans of people who couldn't make the regular house payments, leading to a high rate of foreclosures. Banks bundled bad home loans with good ones and sold them as mortgage-backed securities. Eventually, the whole system fell apart and led to a massive bailout of banks, with the whole world being affected and creating the biggest economic downturn since the Great Depression. However, not all black swan events are financial crises. Take, for instance, the September 11 attacks, or 9-11 a terrorist attack against the nation of the United States, resulting in almost 3,000 victim fatalities and over 25,000 injured. It caused at least $10 billion in infrastructure damage and with the US stock market experiencing the longest closure since 1933. Another example is the Fukushima nuclear disaster in Japan the most severe nuclear attack since the 1986 Chernobyl disaster, and the only other disaster to be given the Level 7 event classification of the International Nuclear Event Scale, the highest possible classification of major accidents. 
The nuclear disaster was caused by an 8.9 magnitude earthquake and the resulting 100-foot tsunami that caused the death of 28,000 people. The catastrophe caused stock markets around the world to experience sharp losses and Japan had to shut down nuclear reactors, reducing the country's electric generation capacity by 40%, which Japan had to replace with imported oil. Another black swan event was the seemingly never-ending tale of Brexit, with the United Kingdom being the first ever country to exit the European Union following a referendum in 2006 in which 52% voted to leave and 48% to remain in the EU. And now in the year 2020, we're experiencing one of the worst black swan events in recent history. The COVID-19 coronavirus pandemic. It began in China and has affected the whole world. With markets experiencing major downturns, countries under lockdown, people unable to go out other than for buying food and medicine and being isolated at home. The outbreak forces the paralyzation of the economic activity to contain the virus, heavily affecting the economy and livelihood of citizens in the short term, with heavy consequences for the future. It is a major humanitarian crisis of the 21st century that was completely unpredictable and has affected millions worldwide. This may be a turning point for the world's largest economies, the United States and China, with some speculating China to take over the United States in the near future and changing the game of global power and influence. All these events are outliers. Nothing has happened before that can predict the possibility of the events. In essence, we cannot expect to predict the future, which is unknown and infinite, with the past, which is known and finite. There are also so-called grey swan events, which are predictable beforehand and are known unknowns, such as the climate change, the wealth gap between poor and rich, and the population growth. One of the big grey swan events is the increasing debt of the United States, which has doubled since the presidency of Obama, currently at around $20 trillion. And at the same time, it has been called the best economy in history. However, the United States still had a budget deficit of $1.2 trillion. What will happen when things get worse, as we're currently seeing? So now that we know what a black swan is, what can we do about it if they're unpredictable? One of the possible solutions is what Nassim Taleb calls being anti-fragile. You are either fragile and get broken by these events, robust and don't care about these events, or anti-fragile, you get stronger because of these events. As an investor, to truly become anti-fragile, you must look beyond your investments. That means developing other sources of income, having a wider knowledge base and developing a certain skill, so that in case of a major black swan event, you'll be somewhat more prepared than you would have been without these other aspects. Let's imagine two different types of investors, Bob and Dylan. Let's assume both of them invest $500 per month. However, Bob is a conservative investor and his portfolio consists of 50% gold and 50% bonds while Dylan is a more aggressive investor and his portfolio consists of 100% shares. Let's say Bob experiences a 5% annual rate of return and Dylan a 10% rate. All of a sudden, after a few months of investing, a major black swan event hits the economy and markets come tumbling down, making both of them lose their jobs. Bob now experiences a 10% annual rate of return since the price of gold and bonds go up. Although Bob can't seem to find a job and does nothing to develop his skills. Dylan, on the other hand, experiences a negative yield. Instead of gaining profit by sacrificing money, he loses money. But Dylan has studied enough finance to understand that markets have ups and downs and he does not sell his investments. Instead, he takes this opportunity to read about his passion, investing and entrepreneurship. And soon, launches a small online company 
and diversifies some of his income stream in real estate. Dylan keeps investing in his knowledge base and skills and eventually gains a considerable advantage over Bob. This is why being anti-fragile is far better than being fragile or robust. Besides these black swan events, there are also individual black swan events in our lives. Take for example a music composer who has been creating great music for years, and it isn't until a decade passes that he achieves his first successful album and gains recognition. We expect life to be linear and progressive, but many times it really isn't like that. It's more like a static and constant line with a certain upward trend. So, how should you act as an investor in an environment of black swans? Nassim Taleb, who spent 21 years as a trader on Wall Street, suggests two different approaches in his book. The first one is the hyper-conservative and hyper-aggressive approach. Instead of putting your money in a medium-risk investment that you don't really know is a medium-risk anyway, focus on putting your money in a hyper-conservative investment such as bonds, and a hyper-aggressive investment such as the derivative market, cryptocurrency, or funding high-risk startups. In case of a black swan event, you won't be risking all of your investments since you have extremely conservative ones, and in case of a positive black swan event from your aggressive investments, you'll benefit a lot. Black swan events are not only negative, they can be positive as well. One example is the creation of Bitcoin invented in 2008 after the financial crisis. A cryptocurrency that does not depend on a central bank, but rather a decentralized system. The second approach is the speculative but insured portfolio. You invest in speculative investments such as a high-risk technology stock and reduce the possibility to lose money with a stop-loss strategy which is a kind of insurance. If the stock goes below 20%, it sells automatically. However, you will also be susceptible to positive black swan events, resulting in huge profits. Let's do a quick recap. A black swan event is an extreme impact of rare and unpredictable events, which can be negative or positive. These events are massively impactful, but are often distorted as they seem predictable looking at the past, but impossible at the present moment. There are also Gray Swan events which are predictable beforehand and massively impactful, such as the current national debt of the United States. To combat Black Swan events, you must be anti-fragile and invest in different income streams, skills, and knowledge. And last of all, always consider black swan events while investing. Please make sure to share this podcast with your friends and family if you found the information useful. Make sure to follow the podcast for more interesting content. Thank you for listening. See you next time.